Just as I said in my previous video, the performance numbers of RTX 4070 are out to the public two days before the official launch. This has been the case most of the time as someone with an unreleased CPU or graphics card always likes to share the results before everyone. This time it's a user from Tiba Baidu forums who not only posted the synthetic benchmark results of the 4070 but also benchmarked the GPU in a few games. So let's take a look at the performance numbers of this GPU but before that make sure to subscribe to the channel to never miss any latest PC hardware leaks like this in the future. As obvious from the GPU-Z tool, it is indeed the RTX 4070 with 5888 CUDA cores and 12GB of VRAM running on a 192-bit memory bus. The card he used is supposedly from MSI and features a base clock of 1920MHz and a boost clock of up to 2.5GHz. So it's almost equivalent to the rumored clock speeds of the Founders Edition except that it has 30MHz higher boost clock. Now coming to the benchmarks, the user tested the GPU against the RTX 4070 Ti using the Core i5-12490F which is exclusive in China. He used a B660 chipset motherboard with 32GB of DDR4 RAM clocked at 3600MHz. Hence the results might not be going to match with those using a faster CPU and DDR5 RAM. Still, if we compare the performance difference between the RTX 4070 and the Ti, the 4070 is 20% slower on average in 3D Mark tests which makes it equivalent to the RTX 3080. When we analyze the gaming benchmarks, the same can be concluded from the very few games the user tested. Here the 4070 is 20% slower than the 4070 Ti on average in 4 different games when tested on 1440p resolution. It should be kept in mind that these games are not necessarily the best choices because third-party reviewers generally use much more GPU-intensive titles. Now for comparison, if we consider the 1440p benchmark results of the RTX 3080, it is also 20% slower than the 4070 Ti according to Tech Power Up. This aligns with what video cards revealed yesterday where the official Nvidia slide shows that the 4070 is equivalent to the 3080. Even though Nvidia boasts about the 4070 being 40% faster than the 3080 when DLSS 3 is turned on, we know that it is not a good way to compare the two GPUs when DLSS 3 does not work with the RTX 3080. So let's do some math and see whether the 4070 is really worth it or not. Nvidia priced the 4070 at $599 and considering that it is equal to 3080, it gives the users $100 off which means better performance for a lower cost. Also the 4070 will be featuring a lower TGP of 200 watts compared to the 3080 which has a TGP of 320 watts. So the 4070 is 60% more power efficient while delivering the same performance. The third advantage it has over the 3080 is the availability of DLSS 3. As more games are adopting this super sampling technique, the 4070 users will be able to use the frame generation to boost the performance significantly. That said, the 4070 also needs some reality checks. 4070 at $600 comes with just 12GB of VRAM whereas AMD and Intel both have GPUs that not only cost lower but bring 16GB of VRAM like the RX 6800 and the ARC A770. We all know how VRAM is now a serious issue for many modern titles where 8GB GPU like the RTX 3070 is not cutting it and performs horribly or crashes sometimes. 16GB of VRAM is definitely necessary and should not be a big deal on a $600 GPU. But this is not the only problem I see with the 4070. If we check the history of Nvidia GPU pricing, we know that the company releases a faster 70 GPU that matches the performance of the flagship card from the previous generation. When the GTX 970 was launched, it was priced at $329 and was equivalent to the 780 Ti which was available for more than the twice its price. Then Nvidia launched the GTX 1070 at $379 which was equivalent to $649 GTX 980 Ti. The RTX 2070 was priced even higher at $499 while delivering the performance of the 1080 Ti which used to cost $699. Then came the RTX 3070 at $499 with a performance of 2080 Ti which has an MSRP of $999. Now the 4070 is launched at $100 more but it doesn't even perform equivalent to the 3080 Ti let alone the flagship 3090 Ti GPU. It stands right at the level of the RTX 3080 which costs just $100 more. If you see the previous trends, the 70 GPUs used to bring much more value to the table than the 4070 and this is why even though the 4070 is not a bad GPU but it is still not where it should have been. Instead, Nvidia is now relying on DLSS 3 so much that it does not forget to include the performance of 4D GPUs with DLSS 3 turned on. This is not the way it used to be because users prefer raw performance most of the time without any AI interruption. 
DLSS 3 frame generation is nothing except adding a lot of fake frames and this is not going to be the baseline for any reviewer for comparing two GPUs. Nevertheless, the RTX 4070 brings a much better value than the 4080 and also has an upper hand over the previous RTX 3070 due to having more VRAM which is crucial for running games on higher resolutions. Only if the 4070 was priced at $500, it would make much more sense but it is what it is. Let me know your thoughts about the 4070 in the comments below. Hit the like button if you found the video informative and subscribe if you want the latest PC hardware stories like this. Also make sure to turn on the notifications to get notified every time I upload a video and I will see you in the next one.